Hello miners, in this video I'm going to show you how to unbreak your GPU using IvoS or PSI Flash Tool. So you tried to flash your BIOS, everything went well, but your system now cannot post or you're stuck with the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. You try to update drivers, you try to flash, but nothing works. That means your BIOS is probably bricked. So this tutorial is going to show you how to unbrick your card. To show you this is not just some video, I'm going to actually break my card. So you can see the process does work. So this is the second time I'm doing this to this card. <laughs> so go to flash BIOS, choose your ROM. I'm going to choose a crappy one, obviously, because I'm going to break it. Choose my card, upload, and wait until the process finish. As you can see now, it's sending the BIOS to the card, and soon we'll have a message saying it's been successfully flashed. Just wait a few seconds. And as you can see, we now have the green message and say reboot. Also on top, data load error. That's because my GPU is now bricked. Now we're going to unbrick the card. As you can see, now says I got a 5700 and I still have the red message above saying I have data load error. Now to unbreak the card, the process is exactly the same, but we're going to load the proper BIOS. Select the card, as you can see it's the wrong one. <laughs> Upload. Wait a few seconds. Same message saying it's lowering the BIOS. And done. Now, Let's reboot the system and see what happens. So hopefully everything went well and now as you can see I have my card back. All the temperatures showing and everything seems to be good. But it seems today is not your lucky day. So we're going to have to use another tool. So the only other way is using a PSI flusher. And for that we need to access the memory chip which is inside your GPU right underneath there. So that means we need to open this. So this is what we're looking for. You should have either a spot or an arrow. And that's where we're gonna put the red wire. Okay? Mine have a arrow here, you probably can't see it. And it's gonna be a little bit hard, but keep trying until you get a good grip. So I finally managed to put mine on the correct position. So now in the Windows computer I'm going to open the flashing program. And if everything went well you press detect and it should show a bunch of numbers. They're all going to be wrong because this program is not compatible with my BIOS but that won't matter for now. Here you can see where you should put the, the connection either on front or in the back. If you select another chip it will change the position but mine is a 25 so you're gonna put over there. If for some reason your card is not detected, you will see a red message like the one you see now on the screen. Once you have a good connection, load your original BIOS by opening the ROM file and use the option Auto. The program will now erase your chip and load your original BIOS. This process will now take some time because the program will need to erase the chip, check, write and check again to see if everything went well. This will take about 15 to 20 minutes.
Now there's a very good chance Windows will still complain about your card. So the best option is go back to iVoS and flash your original BIOS. After that, everything should be working as before. As you can see now, both my cards are present and mining using Aquilex Pro. You can now load your overclockings again and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts, leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.